Scream 5. The last Scream movie came out in 2011. There have been four Scream films, three seasons of a television series, and it was finally announced last year in November that Scream 5 is on the way. A couple of months ago, we learned that Matthew Bettinelli Open and Tyler Gillette are directing the film. They are the directing pair that came out with Ready or Not last year, a horror movie that was pretty well received. And it was announced today by The Hollywood Reporter that David Arquette is returning as Deputy Sheriff Dewey Riley. He was in all four Scream movies, so he's been around since the beginning of the franchise. In an interview, David Arquette said the following, I am thrilled to be playing Dewey again and to reunite with my Scream family old and new. Scream has been such a big part of my life, and for both the fans and myself, I look forward to honoring Wes Craven's legacy. What else do we know about this movie? Neve Campbell is in talks to return. She played Sidney Prescott, main character in the old Scream films, and it's going to be written by James Vanderbilt and Guy Busick. Every time there's a movie coming up, we all put our heads together and try to figure out, is this going to be good? Yeah. Should we be looking forward to it? And we do that by looking at the cred of the writers and the directors. So the directors are pretty new, and they do have at least one good, successful horror film under their belt. Let's look at the writers. Vanderbilt wrote Zodiac. Good movie. Great movie. He also movie. wrote Murder Mystery, the recent Netflix Adam Sandler, Jennifer Aniston film which we didn't see because we don't watch the Netflix Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> and just overall, I haven't watched it, but from what I hear, not a great movie. And then Busick was one of the co-writers on Ready or Not. So this is one of those cases where it could go either way. I'm going to stay optimistic. I'm a fan of the Scream movies. But let's start there. Adam, Alun, what is your relationship to the Scream franchise? Have you seen the movies? Do you care about them? Does it move your needle at all to hear a fifth screen movies on the way a little bit i uh no i mean i, I do even tempered as always <laughs> i do like the scream movies mm -hmm. I, i'm not sure i saw the last one though yeah scream four did you i saw that one yeah was it yeah. good it was solid it was i think a 60 percent on rotten tomatoes and i would agree with that score i i feel scream it's got the nostalgia bump for me so even if it's bad, it's gonna get get a few more points from me. Yeah. You know, my subconscious can't help it. That right. Sa the same is true for me. I, I think I've probably only seen one or two of the Scream movies, and mm. it was so long ago that I don't remember, or I was so young that I didn't understand it. Right. But I loved wearing the Scream masks for Halloween. <laughs> like we had just the classic one, the glow in the dark orange one. There was one that. Uh, you could connect this like little pump to it and squeeze this fake blood and it would like drip down <laughs> through the mask. We own that mask? I don't think so, but I was okay, jealous I was of my say. friends who had it. <laughs> Do we have the uh, Hollywood Reporter article pulled up right now? Pull that up because I just want to pull the scream mask up on the screen. What child of the 90s could look at that and not get excited? Yeah. Feel a little, a little chill come down your spine. And then a laugh because the movies did such a great job of balancing true horror and funny subversion of the horror genre. And that's why I've been such a fan of the Scream movies. Because you and me, Adam, I think are both horror fan. Oh, and you're a horror fan too. Yeah. But we lean, at least I lean more towards the fun horror. Not the dour, disturbing, depressing horror. I like that stuff too. But for me, Scream was that great middle ground. Where it was scary, but it was also just fun. I even enjoyed the TV series on MTV, which then moved to VH1. At least the first two seasons, to me, it successfully delivered that slasher vibe every week. And it gave me an excuse to watch teen melodrama without <laughs> feeling weird about it. <laughs> and like I said, I thought Scream 4 was solid. And do we need a Scream 5? I mean, for me, the horror genre continues to change and evolve over time. Every decade of horror looks different than the previous decade. So I think you can continue to update the Scream franchise to just come back and subvert horror tropes. Now, one thing I'm curious about, though, is the slasher film is not a really a thing anymore. I mean, it's starting to come back a little bit. We saw Halloween in 2018 going back to one of the oldest slasher movies. But what are they going to do in Scream 5? Are they going to, to try and subvert new horror tropes? Are they going to somehow comment on the fact that slashers have gone out of style? 
I don't know if you guys have any thoughts on what you what would, you would want to see. It might involve technology. Yeah. Oh, good point. Something yeah, with the, the internet or some some kind of spooky element there. Right, and we've seen elements of that before. There was a terrible Halloween movie back in the early 2000s, I think, where it was a reality show, and then Mike Myers showed up and started killing people. Were the, was the, two, the, the letters, like, uh, or the number? H2O or something. Something 2K in it? I think something? it was Halloween H2O. Oh, okay. So they could go that route. Uh, and I'll also say I'm glad that they're going the sequel route and not doing a total reboot. We didn't know that for sure until we saw this casting today that David Arquette is back. We heard that they were talking to Neve Campbell, so that seemed to be the way they were going. I'm also not that surprised by it, though. After Halloween came back, bringing Jamie Lee Curtis back into the fold, after Terminator Dark Fate brought back Linda Hamilton, the reboot slash sequel or legacy sequel, as people are calling it these days, seems to be the way to go. I am curious which way they're going to go, though. They could take the safe route, which is what I think Halloween did. When they brought back Jamie Lee Curtis, they didn't really do that much new. They just did their best to create a solid entry in the Halloween franchise. Nothing wrong with that. I'm sure these writers and directors can do that, and I'll enjoy it. But I would love to see them take a little bit of a risk. Somehow reinvent the franchise, do something new, while still paying tribute to Wes Craven and everything he did. That'll be tough to pull off. I have no idea what that would look like, but that's what I'm hoping for. I think it'll look something like this. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think you're probably right. Though, the first two seasons of the Scream TV series somehow couldn't get the rights to the Scream mask. So they had to invent a new one where it was less like this and more like this. You know, the masks oh. that uh, we own or didn't look like that either. Maybe they were unlicensed. <laughs> These were the discount masks. They were a little different. Yeah, we were uh, trying to sell unlicensed Scream knockoff masks out of our garage back in the day. <laughs> yeah. 